Wagab. In this video, I wanna show you guys another quick and easy modification that you can do to your Mercedes-Benz in order to give it a luxurious but also very sporty look at the same time. All that, coming right up. So what I'm talking about is the AMG Sport styled pedal covers. And this is it right here. Today we are going to be installing it on my W203, but they also make this for all different types of models from M class, C class, A class, CLK, whatever year, make and model Mercedes Benz you drive, you can find a set of pedal covers that are going to suit your specific car. My Mercedes Benz is a manual, so I have an accelerator pedal, a brake pedal, and also a clutch pedal and a foot brake pedal. It is a pretty well made product. Okay, it has a very thick piece of rubber on the back and it's a very simple installment. All you do is wrap it around the pedal and slip it straight on. Surprisingly, it really does stay on there and it does not slide off at all. You see other types of sports pedals where they have to be drilled into the pedal itself. Because the Mercedes-Benz pedals are made of metal, you can buy these aftermarket sports pedals where you actually drill into the pedal itself and then they are mounted via a bolt and a nut but we don't want to do that we don't want to be drilling into our pedals if we don't need to and the way these are designed you don't even have to do that because you basically just slip them right on and that is the beauty of installing these type of pedal covers not only are they affordable well built and also easily installed anyone can do this installment you don't need a professional to help you install it and it will only take you about five to ten minutes max probably five minutes more likely it just depends on how good you are at removing the pedals originally now i'm also going to show you guys how to remove the accelerator pedal in case you are trying to do something like install a pedal commander or you maybe want to fix your accelerator pedal i want to show you guys also how to remove that because in order to remove the accelerator pedal cover you need to unclip it that will allow you to slide off the original rubber pedal cover now, as for the rest, they are simply just uh, designed exactly the same as this, where they simply slip on and slip off. These are very reliable. I've had them on ever since I owned the car, and I have to say that they have never once slipped off at all. Let's jump in the car, and firstly, I'll show you guys how to remove the accelerator pedal in case you want to install a pedal commander or some sort of um, electronic device, or if you have to remove it for any reason to, say, clean the carpet or get behind it. So let's do that. I already have the footrest pedal installed, but I bought that separately and it's a really cool footrest pedal. It already has Mercedes Benz written on it and I think it looks really nice. And I tried to get it as close matching to the pedals as possible. You can see that they have rubber round grommets, whereas this is an oval shape. I tried to match it as best I could, but you know, I think it still looks really nice and uh, I am happy with it in the end. But so it has adhesive on the back as well as screw holes. So you are screwing it into the plastic behind the carpet. It is very secure and it does not move at all. As you can see, I'm trying to pry it up now and it doesn't want to come up. Now, in order to remove the accelerator pedal, what you're going to need is a little flathead screwdriver and also a ratchet with a 12 mil socket. So the first thing we're going to do, there is a little cover right there. There is a little gap in which you can put your screwdriver in right here and then you just pry it up and it will come up and you can pull it off like so there's a gap right there that's where you put your flathead screwdriver and you just simply turn it or pry it up and it will come out then you can just pull it off it's just a plastic cap that covers where the bolt is and under it you're going to see a 12 mil bolt that's why we need our socket and our ratchet Unscrew it, take it out, just undo the nut. All right, now that nut is removed. In order to remove it, lift it up a little bit and then pull back like so. And then that will allow you to free it up. And now we can pull it down towards us, but do not rip it out because you have a plug right here. Now in order to remove this plug, you have a push tab right there. Push on it and pull up and it will come out okay so i'm going to push on it and pull it up okay there we go underneath it there's also another plug right there and you just simply pull that back 
and it will come out. Simply just pull it out. That's how you remove your accelerator pedal. So if you're going to install something like a pedal commander, obviously um, you would plug it in here and then and then plug this into the pedal commander and the pedal, pedal commander would plug into this. And then you just simply have to run your wires. So in order to remove this rubber cover, what you need to do is remove this plastic pin here. If you look at it on this side, you just have clips on this side and all you do is pry it up from the other side and it will simply come out. Just put a flat head in there and We'll simply pry this out there we go and pull it out and there we have it now you can simply lift this up so you can remove your accelerator pedal now when you remove your accelerator pedal you have to remove it like so because this rubber part here I cut but I only cut it off because I knew I was replacing it. Now you could always do it that way, but this is the proper way to remove it. You would have to remove it and slide it up like so. That way it clears everything. Obviously, if this was still connected, you're unable to slide it off, but that's why I cut it because I didn't really see the point in having this anymore because obviously I was upgrading it to the newer style pedal. We can simply install our accelerator pedal cover. You don't have to install this when it's off the mount. You can simply install this while it's on the car because like I said, they already took into account you have to slide it up. So they made a slit here so you could simply wrap it around it and install it really easily. I'm going to reinstall this pin so it holds the accelerator pedal back in and we just simply push it back in like so. Check it, make sure it works. And now we will install our cover. Simply slide it on. Make sure it clears and slide it straight on, nice and easy. That is our accelerator pedal fully installed. Check that it wraps around the entire pedal on both sides. We can now reinstall our accelerator pedal. Firstly, let's plug this back in at the bottom. Having a look here, you can see it has a tab on this side. As you can see, there's a tab right there. Ensure that you install it the right way. Push it in. As for your accelerator pedal, it only goes in one way. Line it up and plug it straight back in. Beautiful, that's it. Reinstall our pedal. You lift it high enough so that the bolt comes through. Okay, tuck your wire away. All right, that's it right there. Okay, we'll grab our 12 mil and we'll put it back on. Now we'll just screw it on by hand. Get it nice and snug and we'll tighten it with our ratchet. We do want to make sure this is nice and tight because we don't want it to slip off as we're driving, obviously. Okay, nice and snug. Now we'll put our cap back on. When you reinstall this cap, make sure that the tab where you can put your flathead in is facing out this way so that if you ever have to remove it, you can see it and get your flathead in. We're going to make sure that we can see it when we install it. There we go. And the tab is just here on this side, right there. That's how you remove your accelerator pedal. And that's also how you remove the accelerator pedal cover. As you can see, my clutch pedal has already been removed. To remove these pedals, it's very simple. You just simply pull it from the back off. This rubber part here wraps around the pedal. It's the same thing for your foot brake as well. It just simply comes off like so. A very easy removal and installment. For the rubber bit, you want to make sure that it is not in the way. This is going to be for the brake because the rubber is on this side. If you were to put it here, it would hit this part here. It would obviously go on this side here. Now, like I said, this is for a manual car. So that's why you have four covers. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Just push it on, get it all the way on. You feel for the rubber make sure that you have completely wrapped it around your pedal all right perfect nicely fitted now we'll do the same thing to the clutch pedal and the foot brake so as you can see for the clutch pedal the rubber grip is on this side here that way it's not in the way just slide on this side first open it up push it around run your finger around the rubber so it hugs the entire pedal. Okay. 
Okay, that's all on wrapped around check it make sure that there is a lip of rubber all the way around the pedal that is completely covered all the way around perfect when it's completely covered it will stay on nice and tight see how there's a, a lip of rubber all the way around make sure that it is completely tucked in last one our foot brake beautiful and there you go guys our pedals completely installed now does that not look just a whole lot better than when these were on there? Just look at the difference. It looks amazing compared to what it used to look like. You can just imagine how it used to look compared to how it looks now. Look at that. From that to that. Does that not look just so much nicer, guys? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what the automatic one looks like. I'll bring you over to the W204 and show you guys real quick. So here we are in the W204. As you can see, the W204 is installed the exact same way. The footrest pedal doesn't have screws in this case, and that's an aftermarket part, but these are all original parts. This is the AMG Sports Package, so you also have the AMG style pedal covers as well and these are still just pedal covers as you can see here's that big piece of rubber on this side here and you replace them the same way you just have to pry them off and they come right off and same with this one but you have to remove the accelerator pedal in this case to remove so i've already done a video showing how to remove the accelerator pedal on the w204 so i'll leave a link in the top right hand corner right now and if you click on that it will show you how to install a wind booster throttle controller in that video i removed this pedal in order to plug it in and route the cables so this is what the brake pedal looks like on an automatic obviously you don't have the clutch pedal because it's an automatic not a manual the parts are exactly the same the foot brake is identical the accelerator pedal is identical only the clutch and the brake pedal are different and as for this aftermarket part it matches this set up because it has the exact same rubber grommets on this the pedal is just a little bit bigger than the foot rest plate but that's okay because you can't really tell anyway and it looks really good now that's only stuck on with adhesive it simply sticks to the carpet but it hasn't come off because you know you really don't kick that hard or press on it at all it simply is just to rest your foot that's how you install a set of amg style sport pedal covers on your mercedes-benz now before i go i just wanted to also point out that depending on the car you drive the way to remove the pedal isn't exactly the same but it's going to be somewhat very similar look for caps that you need to pry off first in order to remove the bolt if you want to remove your accelerator pedal but if it's not then just look around for little clips that you might have to pry off in order to uh, remove the accelerator pedal cover not very hard at all if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the upload. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlog, signing off.